Hi, my name is Simisi Wembanza. My name is Klavani Polama. Hello, my name is Pierre Robichatanzegi. I had done some IT courses and now needed some practical work experience. I wanted to improve my IT skills and gain confidence. I applied for this program because I believe that this was the program that was going to change my life. This was the program that was going to help me help others reach their full potential. This was the program that was going to assist me gain knowledge and skills in furthering my career. I learned quite a few skills. I was with a company that deals with security alarms. So I learned how to configure and test an alarm. I even learned hardware skills like how to solder and assemble a PC board. I learned other skills too. Skills like communication, report writing, and how to behave in a workplace. I even learned how to organize my task and manage my time. What I've learned from this program is that IT is in great demand and we are running towards the paperless system. So each household must have a technological device that is able to access information remotely, faster. One of the challenges that I've faced during the program was that Mogama quality, most of their computers are outdated. They can't connect to the network and being able to connect there remotely on a satellite area was very difficult. Availability of transport whenever the, the problem occurs or arises in a remote, remote areas, Roseville or the Smithfield was a main challenge for us because sometimes we could, the, sometimes the, the transport uh, could be available three or four days after they've locked the call that there is something wrong with their PCs. I liked working with hardware and installing tracking devices on laptops that were delivered to vulnerable schools. The highlights of this program was being able to work in a professional environment, uh, how to do things, how to solve things quickly, and being able to work with different people from different cultures, different attitudes, how to behave, being able to work as a teamwork, being able to access servers directly or remotely it was one of the highlights from the program. We could use technology to monitor alarms remotely. Home alarms were very useful in assisting victims of gender-based violence. And we were able to, talk, to teach employees basics on how to solve frequently arising problems in a PC and which resulted in saving municipality and IT department a whole lot of time and money. So I had a project of fixing all outdated PCs and networking cables. And we also, as an IT department, uh, held classes where we, we, we taught the employees the basics and advanced training of Microsoft Office. With the experience I have acquired, I'm in a better position to find a permanent employment. I will continue to volunteer to assist other children, uh, making them reach their full potential, assisting them with my skills because I was also assisted. So I want to also assist another person with the skills that I've gained from another person and I will pass them over to another person. So that's the next level for me, to continue volunteering, making a change in our communities. After this program, the next level for me is to continue learning, expanding my knowledge through the networking environment. I plan to start an organization that will focus on helping young people in my rural hometown with some basic IT skills. The organization will also provide an IT center with necessary infrastructure like computers, printers, and internet connectivity. I will apply what I've learned by assisting the youth in terms of how does a net network work and what can one do with, uh, with being connected to the network. And whenever there is a problem uh, arises, how can one solve the problem?
so that they could save that uh, they could save the money and a lot of time. Ready? Ready!